is up guys this is a fix and today i will be starting a new tutorial series for you guys i know i haven't made a video in a while and i have been very busy and i wasn't sure what to make a video on but i finally thought about it when i was thinking about the games that i want to make i realized that all the games i've made in the past had horrible gun systems so in this tutorial series i will be making a full-fledged gun system first in blueprints and then if we have time we'll go back and iterate through everything in c++ which is probably preferred so first let's just open up the unreal engine project browser and you could use a source code build which i want to do but since this is just a blueprint project for now we'll just use the commercial engine Once that has loaded up, scroll down and click games, next. And then for the sake of this tutorial series, we will be starting using probably the first person tutorial or the first person template project. Then click next. Um, generally don't want to use starter content because it does take up a lot of storage and for this project it won't be necessary. Then blueprint, you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to call it YT Gun Tuck. And then you can click create project and as this is a blueprint project it will open up pretty quickly so once that has opened up i just expand the content browser which make it a little bit nicer to view and then over here let's just go over how the basics of unreal engine work just assuming that you don't know yet so if you right click and hold down, you could control the scene thing. You gotta control the scene. I don't know what it's called, it's like a scene actor. And then you can move around the WASD keys, move up with the E, not sure what is down. Then you can also just click the left mouse button and move it backward and forward just to move backward and forward in your scene. You could do mouse look. And that's pretty much it for now. And then a little good uh, shortcut here is E would be to rotate, R would be to scale, then W So is over here we will go into edit first person player blueprint. Then over here you can see we have all of this pre-made code. Um, and actually let's see it in action. Just go back to the map and then click play. You can see over here that you can walk around. Uh, there is jumping, no crouching, no aim down sights, but it's a very simple setup. You can shoot. Uh, the noise is a little bit loud, so I will edit that. Let's go to first person audio and this weapon template and i'm just going to set the volume to 0.1 that'll be a little easier on the ears and let's go over to our blueprint again first person character blueprint and let's get rid of this fire function for now and we don't want the mobile input so we can get rid of that and let's let's just get rid of all of this stuff right here Oops, it's kind of really high sensitivity. You just click delete. And we don't need, or we do need the stick input. Uh, we do want mouse input, jump, and then move forward definitely. Let's get rid of the VR. And get rid of these motion controllers. And I forgot to get rid of those. So over here, let's first create a blueprint class so over in first person bp open up blueprints and then just right click and blueprint class let's derive it from actor and just call it bp weapon base and open that up so this will be our like main weapon class um the basis for all weapons in the future so we do want to set up some defaults so first click add component and let's add a skeletal mesh reason why it's a skeletal mesh is we might want gun animations like when you shoot a pistol you do see that top part kind of going back so here's the skeletal mesh i'm not going to drag it on default scene route just in case i've never messed with that much before and this should be good so let's add some default variables in the event graph so let's just do damage damage will be a float variable and that should be it for now actually so compile that and save and a little shortcut if you click on the arrow button right here 
and hover over save on compile, change it to always, and it'll save when you compile. So let's go into our first person character class and on begin play, so we have to add the event, right click, and then begin play. And on begin play, we want to spawn actor from class. And from the class, we'll do weapon base. No, let's make a weapon base class now. So here on weapon base, right click it and click create child blueprint class. I just call it BP assault rifle. So click on it. And over here, we will choose the skeletal mesh. So you can see we don't have a gun mesh yet. So let's open up the Epic Games launcher. Over here, go under, go to the library if you have these installed. So I will be showing you the ones you need to get if you don't have yet. Um, definitely get the, uh, you don't need the animation starter pack actually for this tutorial series, but do get the military weapon silver. Let me see if I could find that. So here the military weapon silver, and then you could get it in the marketplace. So click add to project, show all projects, and let's just choose the YT gun tutorial or whatever you name this project. Um, for version, click here and click 4.21. Since it's not compatible with 4.25 though, it won't cause any errors and will work just as intended. So here, click add to project and it will take a little bit to download. And when that is complete, you can exit out of the launcher and you can go over here and check you do have the military weapon silver. So here in the, under the assault rifle, let's change the skeletal mesh to the assault rifle A. You can see this looks pretty nice, triple uh, A quality almost. So, or at A's triple A quality, that's not almost, it's very good. So over here, let's go, click compile first on both of these scripts. And you can see we have an error and because we have not chosen a class, so let's do BP assault rifle. And for spawn transform, just make transform because we will be snapping it to a socket. Then over here, click the always spawn, ignore collisions under the collision handling override. And as the owner, just set it as self. And as the return value, let's promote it to variable. So right click and click promote to variable. And let's call this, um, let's just call it current weapon or equipped weapon. Now what we will do is we will attach this to our mesh component. So attach actor to component. And yes, it will be attached here. The equipped weapon will be attached. And what we can do is we will attach it to the mesh. So under mesh 2P, I believe, or let's get rid of this FP gun first. So just let's go over to the viewport. So under the first person character hierarchy, just click on FP gun and delete. Then over here, let's get rid of the VR gun, motion controllers, VR maker. You can see we have the first one camera, mesh 2P and spear. So let's set, connect this to the mesh 2P, which is basically just the arms. And we'll do that as the parent and the socket name, we'll just call weapon, weapon socket. And for all the location rules, click snap to target, or all the transform rules, I should say. And over here, compile first, and you do see we have an error, so let us check what that is. Um, target must have a connection, so you do need to get rid of this in the construction script. Then compile, and then over in the mesh 2P, um, you see over here, double click on this image of the two arms, then go to skeleton and click on this right hand, make sure it's hand underscore R in the hierarchy, then right click on it and click add socket. So this is do create a socket and let's just click F2 to rename it to weapon socket. Now the socket exists, but we want to make it so that the rotation of the gun is proper in the socket. So we right click and go to add preview asset and let's add the assault rifle a now you can tell if we snapped it to the target it would look really weird initially so let's rotate it to our liking and another way to do this would be to do a while playing so let me do that i will click play 
and drag this over go back to the map and as you can see i can edit the gun's placement move it down a little bit let's edit the rotation a little bit better it looks a little weird okay. and then let's definitely rotate it sideways a little bit okay now let's move it up not up and here and once the gun values are how you like them you can just drag this back up and go play and as you can see it does look it looks a little bit weird still so i will change up the values a tiny bit more and i will be back after that so one thing that i will do here is i will move the camera so go over to the first person character viewport and let's move the camera over here and we have to just actually move the mesh component first once to the right and then let's move the camera over here and let's see how that looks and that was the wrong direction so what we want to do here is we do want to move the camera a little bit to the right so let's move the camera two spaces to the right or a little bit more no that's about good and then for the mesh 2p let's move that to the left let's go play that looks a little bit better let's move it a little bit more then I will move the mesh back and that looks much better so now that we have set up the gun and you can see it's spawning properly let's set up a fire function and the gun base go to first person BP blueprints and open up the BP weapon base now let's just create a, uh, a custom event called fire or let's actually yeah let's create a custom event called fire so click T actually a better way to do this would be through functions so let's create a function called fire go to the left and add a function and let's just call it fire and fire will take in an input which is the player so we'll just call it player and the input will be the first person character after this we will have to get the camera component and let's first of all let's see what that's called get first person camera so get first person camera and then let's just do a line line trace by channel and it'll just be a line trace single by channel for now uh, we will add wall banging but we'll start with the single and then at the start point just get get component location and that's a C++ term, so just get location. And click get world location. Plug that into start. And then for the end, search up get rotation. So get world rotation. And we will get the forward vector. Get forward vector. And we will add a multiply node. So multiply vector by vector. And the other vector or actually it's going to now we'll add a multiply vector by float so vector times float and the float will multiply by is 10,000 then here add that to the plug that into the end point so what this is doing is it's getting the location of the camera getting the direction and moving forward 10,000 meters as the end point and if it does hit something it'll be stored in our hit result so actors to ignore, we do want to ignore self and we do want to ignore the, the player. So here what we would do is add a player to an array. I just call this array actors to ignore. And it'll just be first or actors. Then you click actor and it will be an array. So click on the circle and turn it to an array and we will actually on the fire we will add the player so add player and the actors to ignore then make sure everything is properly connected up and then plug in the actors to ignore right here in the actors to ignore now for the draw debug type let's do for duration and for now just click compile and let's go to the first person example map click play and we have not set up the input yet so 
go into first person character, event graph, do input action fire, and get equipped weapon and fire. Then plug that into pressed, and let's see if it works. Now we're getting something weird because we did not plug in players. So here we have to set up the input and then we have to add in self as the player. Now let's go play, press it out. And you can see that our line traces do in fact work. So that is it for today's video. And this is kind of just a short starting to get the gun system ready. For the next video next video we will be adding special effects and we'll be applying damage to the actors we hit in our line trace um, and then in the future videos we will try to add wall banging bullet spread which is also called bloom and we'll also definitely add a recoil um, and if we do have time or if you do have time you should definitely check out this tutorial by dev lod and it's a first person player controller it's really good and it's a really short tutorial, really easy to follow, and I'll put a link for it in the description. It'll definitely up your FPS game. So, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.